Hi, I'm Sarah and I'm proud to have been a board member and volunteer for Children's Protection Center over the past couple of years. I joined the center in its mission to protect children because I had seen cases of children throughout Arkansas who were suffering and needed help. I hope that as you watch this video, you'll see how you can make a difference too in the lives of children in your community. One thing that our center does that is special is we provide a child-friendly facility for interviewing children who are allegedly abused. If you know someone who you suspect is being abused, a child or someone in your neighborhood, a student at school, please protect that child by calling in a report of suspected abuse. Anyone can do that in the community by calling 1-800 482-5964. Reports to the Arkansas hotline for abuse go directly to the state police headquarters. The hotline reporters then send out those reports to investigators. The investigators attempt to get the child here to our center in Little Rock where the child can be interviewed on a recorded DVD where other professionals can meet and talk with the child where the child can tell their story to someone who's trained specifically to talk to children about abuse, and where the parents can feel comfortable asking questions about resources for their child and for them to help cope with the process of an investigation of child abuse. Our center is completely dependent on donations and grant funding. We're a nonprofit in the state of Arkansas 501c3 what we do here is private, confidential, safe, neutral, non-biased forensic interviewing for children. We advocate for children regardless of the allegation of abuse. We want to extend services to the child so that they can feel protected and safe talking about whatever the situation is that has been reported. That takes a lot of commitment and a lot of hard work on the effort of people like you. As you watch again this video and listen to the stories of children in Arkansas and the staff that try to work with them, please consider making a donation or extending your talents to the center. We can really use the support at this time of the year and always. And if there's any question about how you can help, please don't hesitate to contact the center. You can also visit our website at www.childrensprotectioncenter.org for more information. Thank you. I'm Mike Vanderford and I'm a chairman of the board of directors for the Little Rock Children's Protection Center. You know, one of the things I'm most proud of is the fact that we, uh, we provide a place where uh, some very dedicated professionals uh, can come and perform a very difficult job that they have to do. And I, I think mostly about the police officers in our community, the law enforcement, the social workers, People who deal with uh, just the horrors of child abuse on a daily basis, uh, I think you'd be shocked if you knew the number of cases that our professionals in the community have to investigate on a daily basis. And what we provide here at the center is, I think, something that's very important. It's a place where kids can come and feel a little less intimidated. It's a place that's much more warmer, much more inviting, much much less intimidating than say a, uh, a police station or a hospital room or 
perhaps even a, a home where the abuse is taking place. And, um, and we think we've created a, a, a great little center that provides an environment where ch kids can come and tell their stories. And professionals who deal with this on a daily basis can step out of some of the more common, uh, less friendly and perhaps more intimidating places where they normally have to do their job. So it's, uh, it's really exciting to think that you're not only doing something uh, that could impact the life of a child, but that you're also making a very difficult job um, for professionals in our community, um, perhaps maybe a, a little less difficult. Uh, you know, there have been some great people uh, in the state who worked really hard to provide funding for centers like ours. People like uh, State Senator Percy Malone, who's, who's worked really hard to secure uh, some public money for centers like ours. But uh, for our day-to-day -day operations, for our functions to pay the salaries for uh, people like an executive director um, and people that we hope to hire to help us uh, with the more than 300 families that come through our center, we rely upon uh, community support. We rely on people like you to be generous, uh, to care enough to, to, to make the sacrifice, to uh, provide financial support, uh, to provide your time and your efforts, to provide your abilities, all of those things are, um, are desperately needed and, and highly treasured by us. So we hope that tonight you'll be generous with us in your financial support. Uh, we hope that during the year you'll think about us, whether that's in the form of financial support or whether it's in the form of coming down and, and helping out with one of the many committees or volunteering uh, to put on a great event like uh, the one that folks have worked hard to put on tonight. So um, we, we thank you for your support tonight and we look forward to your support in the future. I'm Allison Harcrow and I'm the forensic interviewer here at the Children's Protection Center. I've been working here at the Children's Protection Center for about a year and a half. Forensic interviews are conducted here at the Children's Protection Center for the neutral, non-biased non environment. It gives the child the chance to tell their story. We interview children ages 2 to 17 dependent upon their developmental level. A forensic interview is a fact-finding account of an event. It is non-evasive for the child and as an interviewer you cannot let your bias come into play. You have to remember it's a child's story to tell. In 2009 here at the Children's Protection Center we had conducted 308 interviews and so far in 2010 we've already done 120 interviews. Once a child arrives at the Children's Protection Center for the forensic interview, they are greeted at the door. They are brought back to an interview room where we begin establishing rapport. This entails asking about school, family members, and different activities the child is involved in. Then we move on to questions about the event. My questions about this event come from the investigative team that is observing the interview from our observation room. The interview process can last anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour and a half. 